Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, it is time for a new moon reading. This time around, we are looking at the Leo new moon. Um, so that is covering the month of August for the Leo lunar cycle. This video is for the Gemini's, Gemini sun, Gemini moon, Gemini rising. So before I even get started, if you feel like what I'm saying isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below in the description box. And uh, this is going to be the typical four card spread looking at the energy coming up for you or the energy that you've been dealing with for the month of August or energy that you need to be tapping into. And then also any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing during this next month or during the month of August, I'm sorry. And uh, because we're dealing with Leo, the Leo lunar cycle, we're going to be looking at where you need to show up and show out and devote a little bit of fire during this month. And then as always, a quick little soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread, okay? All right, so let's just get right into it. The first card that I have coming up for y'all in your spread is uh, in the position of the energy, and you've got the card of friendship here. Um, and I also want to talk about the numerology because you've got a lot of eight energy in your spread too. Um, your last card and your first card resonate with the energy of eight. You've got the number 17 here. Um, and eight is all about cycles and infinity and karma. And with the friendship card popping up here, um, the first message that really came in strong for me was that you Geminis may be in a space to where either some things are going on or you're just having some sort of epiphanies about the types of people that you have in your life. So I feel like either you are in a space to where you're really forming closer bonds with the friends that you have around you, or you're in a space to where you're really reevaluating the people that you call your friends. I feel like some of you are also thinking about friendships from your past that may have either fallen by the wayside or that have kind of fizzled out. Maybe nothing bad has happened or maybe some friendships that have had some blow ups. I think that those things or those instances may just be kind of strong in your thoughts <laughs> during the month of August. Um, with the friendship card popping up here too, I think that it's an important message, Gemini, for you to devote a little bit of energy to your friends and your friendships. Um, I talk about this and I've talked about this a lot last year when Venus was in retrograde about people being better friends than their friends are to them so i feel like during this time gemini a lot of you are maybe going to be thinking about okay some really good friends that you have and possibly thinking about how have i not been a good friend to this person how can i be a better friend maybe i need to reach out to them maybe i need to see how they're doing maybe i need to xyz or whatever you know um and also for some of you you may be reevaluating some friendships in which you're giving a little bit more and um not taking as much as you give and the other party is you know kind of tipping the scale down and just really kind of thinking about you know who's around me what's around me who's really a good support system who's really shown me you know true unconditional love in regards to this friendship in regards to this union um and for those gemini's that do have some things going on during this time i think this friendship card is just popping up to say that this is really a good time for you to lean on your friends and to turn to your friends you do have um a support system around you and you do have people that truly and honestly do care about you okay the next card that i have coming up in your spread is in the crossing position the challenges or energies that you might be dealing with during this month that might create a little bit of obstacles for you i um, mean you've got the child card here and this one is an interesting one so not attached to the friendship card i think that for some of you gemini's there may be some childhood things coming up for you that are causing a little bit of strife during the month of August and they may be very very you know blatant you may actually understand what's going on and maybe some stuff like oh I can't believe my parents are acting like this or I can't believe you know this instance from my childhood is coming up again and I'm age grown right now or you know you may be exhibiting certain habits and may not actually necessarily know why you're dealing why you have these bad habits these negative habits or why you're carrying around this heaviness and it may actually be attached to something from your childhood that's causing and the energy is coming up and creating a challenge for you during this time um now attached to the friendship card this being a crossing position um i think that for some of you gemini's 
as I was saying a little bit earlier, you may have some friendships that have fallen by the wayside. And I don't get the sense that there were like big blow ups, but there may have been some some conversations or some things and where just people just did not y'all were just not on the same level or you were just not in the same book or even close to being on the same page. You know what I'm saying? And I think that whatever is transpiring for you in life now, you may be in this space to where you're like, I really want to share this with my friends. I really wish that my friends could see this or I really wish that I had friends with this type of bond that I had with these friends from um, back. Uh, mm -hmm. Wish I had people around me that were like these people that I used to kick it with or I wish that these friendships that I used to have were prominent in my life right now. This is a crossing card. In most of my readings, I say you can turn these crossing energies into upright positions. With the friendship card, turning this into an upright position, Gemini, especially if what I'm saying about, you know, old friendships or wishing you had people like your old friends around you, you're an air sign. It don't take nothing but to reach out, say something. Hey, what's up? You might get met with wow, I haven't heard from you in so long, or wow, you're hitting me up now, or what the fuck have you been up to, and da 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 Like, you might get hit with a little bit of fire. It's still Leo season. We just came off of a retrograde, and Leo, like, you know what I'm saying? You might get that fire. You might get that bite back, but if you truly and honestly want those bonds, or you want to strengthen those bonds, or you want to bring those friendships back around, it's important for you. Sometimes you got to take the first step. Even if the other person or the other people are thinking the same thing, sometimes it somebody has to initiate it and you can't sit around always thinking that the next person is going to do so because if everybody's thinking that the next person is never going to step up because the next person thinks it's the next person so gemini you might have to be the initiator in this sense and reach out to your old friends or you know wave the white flag or whatever whatever the situation may be if it's in regards to your friendships or old friends that you want to come back around you might have to say hey what's up let's talk and you might have to hear some some hard or some tough shit. You might have to hear about yourself, especially Gemini, if you are the person or the reason why these friendships have fallen by the wayside. And then at the same time, you understand that it has to be balanced. This is your opportunity to also express how you feel, how you've been wronged or how you feel, why things, you know, went left or whatever. But I don't know. That was very important. I feel like that was very important for somebody's Gemini out there. So I hope that resonated with somebody. Again, if it didn't, check out your moon or your rising sign. The link is down below. Um, but basically going back to the child card, the sense of nostalgia in regards to the friendships and wanting that nostalgic, that good, that happy place. And then just in regards to the child card in general, some things coming up from your childhood may be causing a little bit of a blockage for you during this month. And it's important to acknowledge it. You can also turn that card in an upright position in that aspect too. It's important to understand what it is causing these blockages and then understand how you need to start working through them and start releasing that energy. Okay. All right. The next card that I have coming up for you, Gemini, and your spread is in the position of the Leo energy where you need to show up and show out during the month of August. Then you've got the love card. You've got two major cards in your spread here. So big energy shifts for you. Okay. Big perceptive shifts. I feel like you guys are air. And with the air um, partnered with the compatible fire Leo energy, it's like you get these thoughts in your head and then you're actually going to make the moves to, to make these changes in your life, okay? The love card here popping up and where you need to show up and show out. Especially with all that stuff that I was talking about with the friendship card and all of the things coming up from your childhood. I think it's important for you to look at life right now, Gemini, not in the sense of where you've been wrong, not in the sense of where things have gone wrong, but in the sense of what you want life to look like, who's around, what you're involved in, what type of energy you put out and what type of energy you call to you. And you've got the love card, which resonates with unconditional love, right? So for you, Gemini, during the month of August, devote some energy into what makes you feel like you were surrounded by love and what makes you feel like that is what you were emanating. And if that is in regards to your friendships, reach out to those friends. If that's in regards to, okay, I'm dealing with some shit with my parents. I'm going to need to have some tough conversations so that we can work through this so that I can feel in that like I like I have a space in this family or like I have, you know, like I have a good relationship with my parents or with my siblings or whatever. Um, and if it's in regards to, you know, the things that you're doing, okay, what 
am I doing in the physical that makes me feel happy and how can I continue to do that? How can I bring more of that into my life? You've got to put love out. That's where you need to put fire energy. That's where you need to put action in during this month of August. And you've got to just make the moves to put yourself into alignment with, like I said, where you feel surrounded by love and that's what you're also emanating, okay? All right, very, very quick with that one. Very, I mean, the card literally it says love. That's how much more can you say about that, you know? All right, y'all, the last card that I have popping up in your spread for you is in the position of the soul message. And this is the lavender card. And this color is purple, which resonates with your crown chakra. And I was just talking about alignment. And when I think of the crown chakra, I think of everything coming together and all of the energies underneath it, everything that led up to that point, bringing everything full circle, bringing everything into a whole complete point, into a whole, I don't want to say stop, into a whole complete sense in space and feeling is the is the crown chakra so i think during this month of august maybe you need to work with some crown stones maybe do some crown chakra meditations um also just in regards to this card the message is to connect the mind body and soul so bring everything into alignment fix what needs to be fixed i think that's important i feel like for you guys to progress and for you to move forward, there are people that you need around you and that breaks down into their energies that you need around you, which those people carry. And there are energies that you need in your foundations, your familial foundations um, or your, your home foundations that need to be on a certain level. And that is what needs to be shifted. That's what needs to be worked on during this month of August for you, Gemini. And so that is all happening so that you can bring everything together. And I did speak briefly earlier about the number eight. This card resonates with the number 44. 44 is, is a very powerful number. It's not a master number, but it does resonate with a doubled four energy. And that is connected to the, the, the energy of spirit, the energy of angels, the energy of support being around you and whatever it is that you need to shift and whatever it is that you need to fix, whatever it is that you need to bring into balance, into alignment. Underneath this Leo lunar cycle energy, you have the motivation and the action and the drive to do so. And that is what is important for you. Again, devote energy into what makes you feel like you are surrounded by love and happiness and peace and joy and what also makes you feel like you have the ability to emanate that and to put that out into the universe, okay? All right, Gemini, that is your reading. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. If you'd like your own personal reading, you can book one with me through my Etsy shop. That link is down below again. Check out that uh, Leo Lunar Cycle video. Also check out the Aquarius Full Moon video. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.